Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm Cincinnati Man. This is my homie, Bad Habits. The oh, Bad Habits. There we go. Yes. We're going to be reviewing Oppenheimer. TBH for short. That's right. And, you know, this is, this was very interesting because everyone that I knew that saw it said the same thing when they saw the trailer. They were like, they were so, I'm going to see that. Yeah. So. And it's interesting because a lot of people mm-hmm. don't like history stuff. Yep. Same. It's very rare and it's cool that Christopher Nolan was able to do that. Mm. Even though I didn't see, I didn't have no desire to see that 1940, whatever. It was. I was going to ask you, did I you see uh, Dun- like Dunkirk? The, That's yeah, Dunkirk? That's his movie. Yeah. Yeah. The trailer yeah. itself didn't make me want to. I saw, I was like, oh, that's cool, but I didn't, and I didn't like Tenet. I thought, oh. I thought Tenet was solid. Okay. Okay. But it, it felt, it felt half fulfilled. It felt like almost incep- Inception like. Yeah, I think it needed a sequel because I had too many questions. Yeah. Same with Inception. So. And, and you know, out of, out, of, out of two of us, you know, I'm the person that loves romance, and I was upset that it was it was that I, I was I, I didn't like that weird dynamic between him and her. What like Florence like, Pugh or Emily no, Blunt? Oh, oh uh, no, about? no, talk about the tenant. Oh, Dom, okay, Dom, yeah, Dom, yeah, Dom, yeah, Dom, yeah, Dom, yeah, yeah. It was that weird kind of emptiness in it. Like okay. he was like, "I am helping you," and she was like. <laughs> Thank well, you. his name was protagonist. Okay, no, I mean yeah, he was generic. Yeah, he was but yeah, it was this be. weird kind of yeah, like yeah, kind of it, it was so stilted. Yeah, so it didn't connect to anything. Fair, fair. He was like, "Why are you helping me?" It's the right thing to do. And I was like, "Oh, okay, I got it. I'm gonna go on record." Tenant, I thought was really dope. Uh, Dunkirk was actually was better the second time I saw it. First time I went in with too high expectations because I love World War II stuff. But okay, out of all these, yeah, uh, okay, there's so many Christopher Nolan movies. Man, you, you consider this like um, some people are calling it a masterpiece. What do you think? Uh, as far as Christopher Nolan goes, this is this is this is not a masterpiece in my opinion. Oh, it's not not a masterpiece. But you really enjoyed it. Oh, dang! Oh, I <laughs> am I supposed to? F- <laughs> I was not expecting this. I was not expecting uh, this. Hold up. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't um, want to give it all away too soon. Okay. Uh, what was your expectations going in? Expectations. Based on the trailer, like you said, I was so... Uh, I love... I, I'm not a big historic, hist- history buff, but uh, I was sold. I, I was interested. But... I'm a history person. I normally, mm-hmm. when I'm watching some history stuff, yeah. I will dive... I, I decided yeah. not to look up any. I thought it was going to be mm-hmm. more linear. Okay, but it's Christopher Nolan. Yeah, he, known yeah he always does that. Um, I thing. thought that we we're gonna see this. I thought we were gonna see war. Okay, yeah. I thought we yeah. were. I thought we were really gonna be getting into the. I, man, I thought it was gonna I, be some craziness. I thought they were gonna set up the stakes. Yeah, and they did set it up, but they set it up more. Mm-hmm. They set it up. They know they said they set it up more from. It was from the scientist's point of view. Sure, it wasn't the soldier's yeah. point of view. It's all about the scientist. That's what Dunkirk never, is for. Who are never yeah have. They have their own I, battle they, to fight. And plus, they like theories yeah. and stuff, but then yeah. they, they come to grasp like, oh, wait, we're building shit that's going to blow up people. Yeah. And it's like, but, 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 but we got to figure out our theories right. Yeah. They're like, they're doing those math. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost scarier than just like frontline battle, actually, because at least with war, you kind of know what you're getting into when it's science. You're and learning they didn't know on how bad it was going to be. They was like, exactly. yeah, it should be yeah. this bad. So, yeah. And it was worse than they thought. Mm. You know, let's get this out the way. Well, okay, uh, I don't really do rating systems or nothing oh. like that. So, I mean, did, did you at least like it? So, on my on my rating scale, um, normally a regular movie that I enjoy will get a stream it rating. That means like, yeah, don't buy a copy, but watch it on stream. This ain't getting that rating. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Yeah, no, I ran out the theater when it was. I got done. a good joke. Wait, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. That's it. Um, I'm sorry to be a sourpuss. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is the first Christopher Nolan movie I, I did not like in a long what? time. What? I don't like this movie. But I'm you sorry. like Tenet? Yeah, I love Tenet. Dunkirk was better the second time, and maybe this will benefit from that. But it did not need to be three hours. Nah, nah. That long that runtime was felt for me. I'm sorry. Okay, I will say this. I thought it was a. I thought it was good. I okay. Didn't, I didn't think. Yeah. It, I didn't think it was like this is the most magnificent thing. Gotcha. But I thought it thought it was a good. It was, it was, a, it was a good. I could tell. I was like a retelling of a okay. story. Like a reimagination. Sure. Because there were certain parts of it. I was like, that ain't happened. Yeah. No, no, no. Cause like okay. Like even. We watching the we're, movie. We're in spoilers, so go ahead. Yeah, yeah no, this whole thing is spoilers. Yeah, I, I so, just go at it. I don't yeah, yeah. Do it. We ain't, we ain't sugarcoating. We, my sister whispered over at me. She'd be like, there "Ain't no black people there back then." She like, "Ain't no way." 
Hey, y'all, y'all, they, got, they still got colored signs. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Separate water found. Yeah, you're right. One of my notes was I actually could not get mad at the lack of diversity because I knew where the fuck it was set and when it was set. So I didn't even get mad that there weren't. Yeah, any, yeah. Any diver. No, it was yeah, just I mean, white no, no, man. But, but yeah, and that's the issue. Yeah. When they try to put put it in stuff, okay. you see somebody random. You're like, right. wait a minute. Like, no. Nah, I like, saw one black dude in the like, courtroom. I saw like three or four. Okay. It was at the okay. damn stadium. Okay. He's walking side by side. Yeah. I'm like, ah. mm, you, you know, know damn well. We all need to check the records. <laughs> yeah, you know damn well. They were like, where's your shine box, boy? Yeah, where they'd yeah. be like, hey, th- hey, thanks, Leon. Go out the back. But but back to the story. Yeah, okay. Um, what? I don't know. Wow, I, I, I am amazed you did not. Like- okay, hey, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go. What did you like about the movie? Mm, okay, what did I like about the movie? Uh, Killian Murphy killed it. I thought he was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. he killed yeah. it. Um, the cast. Okay, the cast is outstanding. Um, but it kind of. I didn't know, realize that was Emily Blunt. Really? Oh Cause yeah, Because yeah. you know, in movies, yeah. they they dress up. They, they sure, Hollywood sure. makes people. Age slower. Okay. Yeah, so when yeah, they dress them yeah, up to look yeah, older, yeah, it kind of. I always thought she was hot. Mm, okay. And I mean, that, yeah, she's Emily Blunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I saw her in this. I was like, oh, she. So she, she looks like a, like average. Like I didn't, didn't pay attention. I was like, oh, okay, gotcha. whatever. And then she looked her age to me. She's like forty. It made sense. Nah, that made her look fifty. Well, <laughs> yeah, especially toward the end. Yeah, but it that's, hey. as time progressed. Okay. You know. Um, she, she looked great. You said the cast. The cast is great. I love the cast. But that's gonna lean into a negative. I don't want to get into just yet. So okay, you go okay. ahead. Take um, take the reins. I love the cast too. Okay. I know that was uh Matt. What's his name? Matt Damon. Not Matt Damon. Um, the, it's so many. The handsome, the handsome dude with the glasses. Josh Hartnett. Uh, oh, Josh Hartnett. Handsome dude. What are you talking? The dude. About? The, so the, many. The super, the super tall dude with the hair and the glasses that was. In the, uh, I just saw this four hours ago. I oh, know. man, you saw it? I thought you. I saw this at a. It started at eleven, got out at like um, two. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, I should know who you're talking about. Pull out the iPad of knowledge. Um, his name. Jo- yeah, Josh Hardy. That was Josh yeah. Hardy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't because he had that chiseled. He yes. had that classic chiseled mm-hmm. superhero chin. He was like, yeah. "Hello, Doctor. How are you doing today?" <laughs> he looked. He looked like he could be a superhero from the 1940s. He's, he had a uh, wow. That's he a did. great description. He, he, he yeah, like, yeah. He, he, like, nah. If you wanted to, I make can a, see that. Yeah. If you want to make a superhero genre mm. of the 1940s, throw him in there. Okay. Go ahead. Just go ahead. See, I had to write in my notes during the movie. Was that Josh Hunter? I had to had to check when I when I was done because he uh, he, he he looked completely different. Man, my sister was fangirl. She was like, really, really. God damn. Even like he went in the character, his and voice you, is totally you, you different. Plus, you don't never see him in anything. That's the yeah, thing. exactly. He and went like, away. I, I don't know. The last time I seen him in something that like that, I really like. I, I never had a problem with that. Sure, I, sure, sure. He went on dude you never had a problem with, mm-hmm. but you never saw him in nothing that you would be like Josh. Yeah, yeah. like you wouldn't put him. You wouldn't Kinda probably forget. have him your as your star. He you definitely know what I mean? should yeah. get more roles out yeah. of this. But last, he's probably picky, more pickier now. The, I just thought about the last thing I saw, man, was probably 30 Days of Night, and I was like, oh, seven. <laughs> so, Stop, yeah. man. Lucky Stop. number seven. Hey, hold on. Uh, The last thing, the last three movies he had. Oh, he's in an episode of. Oh, um, no, that's. Oh, movie. He was an Operation Fortune Rust group. What the? I, I <laughs> read. I don't. Wrath of Man. Oh, but, that's that. That's that latest Jason Statham movie. I didn't see it. Uh, Valley of Gods. Yeah, no. Nah. I'm sorry. That's no, no offense. He ain't man. seen my videos. <laughs> I ain't seen his movies, okay? Look, I, hey, Josh, I ain't got a problem with you. That's him. Hey, man. You, <laughs> just leave a comment, okay? That's all That's all it takes. I promise. I, hey, I can shuck and jive with the best of them. Wow. Um, wow. No. So, <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, I like everybody in the cast. Yeah, okay. Um, the story was interesting. Like, the, sure. the setup of the story, because... You know, when mm. it opens up, he's having like a nightmare and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. And he's, he's like seeing the after effects or whatever. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, because the problem the problem he has is mm. it, it's not even, no, it's before the after effects. I think I think I could I thought that was because he, he, yeah, he was when going he's, to school. Yeah, and when he's visualizing like the equation though, like when you can see the waves and stuff, like he's in bed. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, he was basically like yeah. having a, like a nervous breakdown. Yes, he was an anxious wreck most of yeah, the time. Yeah, because he was that. trying to figure out the yep. math. Yes. It's, it's, what's interesting is they kind of they explained it in a decent enough where my okay. head didn't hurt. 
Yes, it did not it was, overload you. Yeah, I felt it was like, like that. Okay, yeah, sure, like this sure. is what they're doing. Like there's certain parts of Mission Impossible when they're explaining stuff where my head was hurting. Where I was yeah. like, I was like, what? <laughs> like like this information dump is like, what's going on? Yeah, the exposition on that one. Uh, don't get me started on Mission Impossible. Okay, um, <laughs> who was your least favorite? Uh, I don't know who's favorite either. Everybody was good. Yeah, I would say uh, I didn't have nobody stood. Like I thought, Matt Damon was going to stand out. Where yeah. like, because when you watch the trailer, yeah, he didn't look good in the trailer. Okay, because everybody's all serious and sure. he says something yeah. like, "What do you mean?" Yeah, you know, like, yeah. he seems like he's over zero. Okay, but when you watch the movie, fit right perfect. in. Yeah, not nah, nailed it. Perfect, nailed it. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, perfect. Man. I, it was it was nice to see him look his age for once in a movie. Stop, man, no stop. offense, but hey, Robert, take your hair plugs out. Yeah, you know, I, I, nah, like, I'm no, sorry. Like, they like, stop. It man. was nice to see. It'll be funny that. you look it up and he's the same age as dude that was probably. <laughs> okay, I can tell you right now. Um, no, he's almost sixty years old. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's coming for us all, baby. But I just, he didn't have to look like Tony Stark, and I'm glad he didn't. I just, I just appreciate that. Thank you. A little bit of humbleness. Humility. He's acting. Of course, he's not gonna. I'm just, just, him like, stop, I'm just saying. Oh, no one was uh, too like. No offense. I mean, I, I live in 2023, but I feel like I could have got anyone back then. Okay, no one was out of reach for me. Okay, I mean, got anyone? What's that like, mean? Like, you know, I could have pulled Emily Blunt back then. You know, that version of her. Yeah, I don't feel oh, like you like how meek they look. Yeah, how I love they how look. nobody warm. nobody looked like a, no one was unattainable. Like, okay, I got it. Yeah, it looked like regular world people approachable. I love that aspect. Everyone was just a regular person. No one I love how model. much I hated Emily Blunt's character. Man. But at I the same time, down. I hated her. I like I hated her for the parental stuff. Sure. But at yeah. the end when she was like, man. Yeah, uh, when she had her. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, let's go. I'm going to be honest. I think they wasted her. That was actually, if you, if you just asked me when my least favorite character, that was pr- Probably her. I got to be honest. And it's not because it wasn't of, about her. Exactly. She just, you it's, it's a it, waste. It, it I'm was, sorry. It wasn't, it wasn't about her. It mm. wasn't, it wasn't about sure. the inside people. It wasn't about his kids. It wasn't no. about his childhood for the most part. It was about that section in time as yeah. he's progressing to become that. I'm just saying you didn't need Emily Blunt for that. You could have got anyone. No offense. He was just written as a wife for the most part. Except for when she had her man's back and when she told him to get off his ass. I like that. Hey, but shout out to uh eh. shout out to her husband, man. I love that love story. Skip that please. What the fuck was that? America, America won again. America won again. again. <laughs> we, we won the war. We took Emily <laughs> Blunt. Y'all ain't winning nothing. Man. We, yeah we got her now. She's ours. Okay. Now deep now let's get more focused. Yeah. I want you to go to your notes. Mm. This man took a notepad, a little mini notepad, and transferred his notepad. He got notes, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. He looked at me and was like, <sighs> he just walked in and just watched it. I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'll just look at the story if I want. If yeah. I want to, you no, know, look, I'm doing a Christopher Nolan style. I don't need to go linear. Mm-hmm. I go where I want to go. Because it's Christopher Nolan, I do need notes. That motherfucker cannot tell a straight story. He got a script, everybody. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's writer's strike. Where you got a script for him? I mean, <laughs> someone's got to step up while, oh, they, while they're gone. I mean, hey, I feel it. Line. Hey, man. I t- Oh, like YouTube ain't affected by I'm it. I'm looking for a job, just so you know. Um, wow. So, when we mentioned the outstanding cast, it's great. Yes. Except, it reminded me of a movie from last year called Amsterdam. Did you see that one? It had Christian Bale, John David Washington, Margot Robbie. Had it. I heard that. Cast was I, ridiculous. I heard that. I heard it had an amazing cast, but Man. the story was. The movie okay. itself is I, not. Yeah, good. I heard it was. Eh. Yeah. So that, what, what made you remind you of that? Uh, literally, like I said, the cast. Straight up, like, look, we got RDJ, we got Florence Pugh, we got, we got everything. Oh, you felt like it was more a presentation of the cast mm-hmm. than actual execution Than the actual story. execution. Really? That's why I said you didn't need Emily Blunt. Because it turned out... Oh, you said it could have been anybody. It could have been anyone. If you have an actress anyone. of her stature, yeah. you use her. They sold me on the cast, and then they just like, ah, okay. Um, it very much reminded me of Amsterdam, though. Uh, hmm. The trailer had me in. Amsterdam was like my second most anticipated movie last year. And then it came out in November and... Wow. It was bad. I ain't gonna lie, the trailer did not make me want to Oh, I was so in. That, that was that was the biggest Okay, so point. the problem was the cast was under underutilized. Yes. Like they yes, they were, they they were the set trailer. dressing, it turned out. And I thought they were actually gonna give great performances. Outside dang, of dang, a, you know, a technical term, set dressing? Yeah. Hey, hey, not set tripping. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
I put that behind. You know? That was back in the day. And I'm 29 now. Um, uh, this movie, a pro and a con, I would say. It feels like a Nolan film. It really does feel like a Nolan Which is, it's tough to digest for some yes. people. Yes. I see some people like, this was the worst. Mm. And I see people like, this is amazing. Yeah. And I've only seen that. I don't, I'm not really... I'm not really hyperbolic like that. If okay. I think a movie's solid, yeah. I think it's solid. Shoot, now, if I think sure. it's trash, I got no problem saying it's trash. Same. You know. That's why I'm that's why I'm shitting on Oppenheimer. Dang, okay. Yeah. Dang. This is this is a disappointment. I, I'm man. gonna do like I'm gonna do like he do me. Everything express serious. His opinion is not my opinion. Touche. I got some stuff to say too. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 go ahead. You gonna let me get off real quick? Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. So uh let's see. The threat of the Nazis. We talked about how we kind of thought we would see some war aspects which was, to an extent. Yeah, which, I, I expected I, yeah. something. Yeah. I didn't really see any troops, generally speaking, but I felt that the threat was felt. Uh, I like how uh, Oppenheimer has a legit stake in it, being a Jewish man. Like he really wants to see the end of the Nazi regime. Love that aspect. However, that was dropped really early on, though. It felt like after his initial, like you know, couple speeches, then it just be like, no, I'm doing it because I have to now. It's this is what we have to. It's just the end less, of all wars. Yeah, it was less of a personal stake toward the end, which is fine. You well, got to take yourself out of it. Yeah, at some they, point. I, yeah, I, yeah. It's like it got put to the side for just yeah. okay. We got to do this. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're just saying. I, you know, and I understand you got to take yourself out, but um, it just, I was really hoping they would lean in on that. Uh, speaking of Killian Murphy. He killed it. However, he did not make me feel like he was actually Oppenheimer. Have you ever actually watched the like I am become deaf speech? Like it's on YouTube, but he It's it, a lot it, more dramatic. Man, I, is I that, was that really him saying that speech? I've heard that speech. Was yeah, that really his voice? It's it's yeah. Is it's a transcript? It, I mean, is it a radio thing of him talking during Yes. It? Uh, oh. it's like I say it's not his speech. I don't want to say like he came up. No, no, no. It's, it's off of He's like reciting. a a, a, um, yeah. a Hindu or I've, something like that. It was in Sanskrit, I think. I think it was in Sanskrit. I'll put it in there. But yeah, uh-huh. I re- but he recited it. Yes. And, and that's I, the actual recording of him. I I'm, I've heard that. I've watched that. that I've heard it, oof. but I didn't know it was his actual voice. Yes. No, you can feel And now that you said that yeah. and I'm remembering that, yeah, yeah that. That mm-hmm. was underwhelming. Yes. So pro- it was kind of odd because mm-hmm. when the explosion happened and stuff, the anticipation of the explosion seemed to be more more um, exciting than when it actually happened. Okay. Okay. Because I was like, the explosion okay. was cool, but I thought it was going to be something it, something like uh, hey. it was super impressive. Sure. And it was it was cool. Mm-hmm. The best the thing that I was waiting for. Mm-hmm. I'm watching it and it blew up, and I was like. If you don't put that sonic boom in there, I'm having yeah. a problem. Because they, they held it. Because I was sitting there like, and when they did it, I was like, I was happy, but mm-hmm. I, I was like, there we go. Okay. Because you gotta have that's you gotta have the 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 uh, the effects of that hit. Mm-hmm. Um, go Ooh. ahead with your notes. I want to hear all the notes. Get while, your notes. Yeah. While we're on that subject, this the uh, it took two hours to get to the actual detonation of the bomb. Gotta build up. It's over the years. Two man. out of three hours. No, man, it took them years. No. You got two hours. Respect our military. Yeah, it took it took like three years, respect, and it look, felt look, like look, look. It. respect our military. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, this, hey, this, this, uh, what, what's that phrase? What's that phrase they be using? This uh, flag don't colors don't run. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> These colors don't run. Our flag means death. <laughs> yeah, to the enemy. I mean, that's right. That uh, actually really thought that was really well done. You know? The execution of the, the I was like, good, my bad. You got to understand, the U.S. took out the op with an op. All right. <laughs> Put a- <laughs> you didn't think about that. I thought that was really well done. Quite the opposite of you. I, I have waited two years for that release of like, we're finally here. Okay. I was actually like, that's when I got intrigued. Bring the sheets in. Bring the sheets in. Never yes, yes, sheets yes, in. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I thought that was really dope. The sound design was great, and um, it was interesting the it, music that was throughout it. Yeah, because it, 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 it made it made it, it made it kept going. Sure, it made it made sure. it, it wasn't like you were sitting still because mm. even when they took the, yeah. the music back a little bit, yeah, music come back in, it seemed like you were going yeah. again. You were like on a jog, mm. which he has a habit of doing. His sound design is usually kind of hit and miss, mm. in my opinion. Uh, the music didn't actually bother me until the very end where they just kept not knowing where to end the movie. It just kept going. I was like, all right, now y'all are building I up. The, I see the... Uh, Man. Sometimes I have to avoid the reviews and uh-huh. stuff because I want to do my own. Same. I, Most times. Yeah. Not now, all the time. Now I can't yeah, watch stuff I can't. anymore. Yeah. And 
I just, I, see a, I just see like a, 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 a title caption yeah. of something I watch and they'd be mm-hmm. like, did it have to be this long? <laughs> I'm, it really didn't. It didn't need two hours for. I mean, it didn't need uh, two hours for one act. Uh, it felt like one act was two hours. I didn't need that person. Oh, they it pulled in my boy James Remar for a quick cameo. Do, do you know is that from on the boys? No, who's, no. Who's, who's James Remar. I don't I even. It's damn. gonna pop up when, when yeah. I edit this. So. I just realized I didn't get his character's name, but well, but who is he? What's he from? The Warriors, baby. I saw Ajax. I like. All right, do you, you ever see the Warriors? The- from seventy nine. Oh, you talking about the dude that was the that, the dude that killed the? I don't. Uh, he was. Didn't they kill him? I don't think so. I think he made it out. Wait a minute. Was he at the? Was he at the committee? The committee. I think thing? so. And I should know this. I just saw this damn I'm a, movie. I'm gonna have it up. Okay. Yeah. So I'm dang, it up. But that's cool. Yeah, I love James Remar because yeah, The Warriors is one of my favorite movies. I mean, look at any of my videos on the right side. There's a poster of the Warriors. I'm not shitting you. So I mean. It, Anytime I see that, I'm, I'm excited. You know, every time you show the Warriors, I'm going to put, like, uh, the basketball team. Yeah, I think I, that's, that's, that's expected, <laughs> man. That's all right. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find I, Oh, man. Uh, while you're doing that, I will What's say James Remar. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, he man. I love that, man. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. Makes you think of 48 yeah, okay. hours as well. 48 hours in the Warriors, man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's a personal note. He's a he's a he's a he's a really good actor. Yeah, yeah. He's always been a good character actor. Yeah. He's not the main, but he's always good mm. in an ensemble cast. Ensemble Show, shows up in Too Fast, Too Furious, gets punked by Tyrese, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, another another. It's, God, my all my compliments are cast related, man. That's fine. Gary that's fine. Oldman as President Truman. When I saw him at first, I was staring. I kept staring. Oh. I was like, man, that's Gary Oldman. Yes, dude. Hey, dude. Gary Oldman. Shout, shout out. out. Hey, yes. When he was sitting, oh, oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> get this bitch out. Of yeah, out. he's like holding the get tissue. This, get this punk out of my. Literally face. said, don't he, let that cry baby back was, in. Man, he was a you dick. Yeah, cry, cry baby. Ass. Yes. I like, like, I oh. was shocked. He was like, yeah. I don't ever see this. Yeah. It's, it's funny. I was, I was looking. I was on some movie group on Facebook, mm. and somebody pointed out there was like the reason he, act, he probably. Somebody said some history stuff. Sure. He was like, look, this dude actually been in a war. This dude, uh, that's what he claimed. Okay. I, I gotta look it up. He's like, this dude actually know. been through war yeah. firsthand. Okay. So we hear somebody be like, we can't do that. He's like, I need you to get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> I need you to go. We ain't got time. Okay. I didn't, see, I didn't know. I didn't do my research. I don't know much about Truman or even that. Like, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, uh, like I said, Gary Old. Oh, bloody, man. <laughs> I probably was like, what? What? When he waved that tissue, yeah. I was just like, oh, man. Yeah. I was mad he wasn't there anymore. Because I love me. Gary Oldman and, like, Christian Bale, who were frequent uh, Christopher Nolan collaborators. You know something? They're, they're like my favorite. That's when you find out Christian Bale was, like, uh, person number five in the Right, yeah. Something. Yeah, yeah. No, he was totally there the whole time. I would say, yeah, him and Gary Oldman, Christian Bale and Gary Oldman are, like, my two favorite, like, character actors. He probably couldn't do it because he was in Lord of Love Thunder. Uh, I'm sure he had the time to, you know, sneak out to the Oppenheimer yeah, I set. I wish he could. But yeah, I would say those two are chameleons when it comes to acting. They're like top tier for me uh, as far as character actors. Oh, uh, Gary Oldman. Remind me of this movie called Darkest Hour. You ever see that where he plays Winston Churchill? Once I, he, I, oh, I've never seen that. Man, that's on my all-time favorite list. This man has seen list. some very interesting movies I have not seen. This That movie. You good? You good? Sorry. Get excited. <laughs> Darkest Hour, yeah. It's it, I don't have like a number one. I don't have a list necessarily of my favorite movies. But if I did, it would be on that top ten or fifteen list of all time. Okay. And that's a movie where nothing happens, just like this. Where as far as like it's a World War Two movie, so it's more about him preparation. It, what yeah, happened? They blew yeah. up. What well, we got to do this, and then yes. he got to rally the English. Legit. Uh, don't it, go gently into the night. That that speech. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Yeah, yes. Because yeah. they bombed England. Yep. And it was like they could have yep. folded. They could have folded. You bomb England mm-hmm. ain't that big. Great example of a movie where, like I said, it's kind of it's World War II based, but it's not combat based. You know, you used to drink every day, and smoke cigars every day. Yeah, no, watch drink. the movie. Yeah. yeah, dude, watch the movie, man. I, I wish uh, I could do that. Oh, yeah, I do that after work. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he was living luxurious. His breakfast? Oh my god, man! Uh, church is. Yeah. Hey, what? We <laughs> <laughs> yeah. look, look up his stuff on race. I'm like, oh oh we shit! Had to wait. No, it's okay. It was it was a different time. It wasn't a better time. It was <laughs> this is World War II, okay? Like, it was a better time. I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't, 
I wouldn't agree. I wasn't there I mean, necessarily. Hey, hey, hey it, it, it turned out better. Yeah. We're here today. Advancements are uh, our friend. You don't here. have to leave before sundown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Robert Downey has this badass quote, which I'm sure it was taken from cyber literature, but he says, Amateurs who seek the sun get blazed. Real powers in the shadows. Yeah, that was cold. That was Damn. Cold. I got to look that up. Yeah, I don't know who said that, but I I made sure I got that. The, the only thing that was weird about that mm-hmm. was with the dude that was like the liaison. liaison. So man, I don't even know. That's the only thing. That dude was like, <laughs> "You lied. Well, oh, you did uh, something." It was like Han uh, Solo, Alden Aaron. Yeah, right? yeah, I yeah, felt yeah, like you should have yeah. kept it more together. I thought he was playing. A, I thought he was fucking with. Him. It turned, he was, he but was. It was weird. Yeah, it, was yeah, like, yeah. it was like, dude, you at first it was weird. It was like, if you actually, if you both be on my side, I need you to get the fuck out of my office. You're yeah. gonna be talking. You're gonna be yeah. talking like, yeah. I'm glad he went. And you're like, what you say? It was almost yeah. like that weird Fair. kind of thing. I feel like it made sense when they revealed that. Yeah, he was actually not um, with Strauss at all. It yeah. turns out. Yeah. Um, classic. You know, just you think everyone's your friend till they're not. Um, I've been there, done that. Anyway, this ain't about that. In case you're wondering why there's a sudden cuts because he was talking about something that we don't need. He going to cut me out. <laughs> I'm just oh, kidding. Oh, yeah, you are. No. You ain't joking. Uh, hey, I mean, yeah, you know. Hey, I respect your edits. My last two notes are cons. It's, okay, go ahead. It's just re- related to the ending. I wrote obnoxious and won't end. Release me in all caps. And then my last con was. Obnoxious wrote, won't end. Release me. He's talking about release me. Release me. Damn. Let me out of here. I was so confused. Was Man. Like, and then I, what was it? And then end? my last con was that I had to, I ran out of the theater because I wanted to go home. I was done. You want to go check on your dog. <laughs> I'm going to take a chance. Newbie boy. Yeah. Insert clip. There we oh, go. Some cute. Yeah. Newbie boy. Love you. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I, I wanted to get the fuck out of there so fast. It was. Notes done. So okay. Anyway. Notes done. I thought the ending, the, like it was interesting because you really felt like it was going to fall apart sure, and it was going sure. to be human be cast out. Yeah, and it did he feel flipped that way. it, and yes. I would love to know the real life story of that. Mm-hmm. But also, oops, that tends to happen in history. Like if people live long enough, they actually do become heroes. It's like the reverse of the the villain live long and become a villain. Sure, sure. Because uh, for example, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali was hated in the '60s because he wouldn't go to war. And then he said all kind of horrible things about mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. And then over time, he was forgiven. You want him back? Yeah. Him. Besides, yeah. he says to, really bad stuff. Besides war, like sure, he would talk yeah. about other bo- like because it's boxing, right? Sure. But it so was during sure. but it was during a racial divide. So he'd be like, Your "Uncle Tom, mm-hmm. that's why you this." And it's like, dude, yeah. you can't say that. Back. Like people yeah. would want to kill that person. And he would just say the most horrible things to people. Where some well, Joe, oh man, Joe Frazier never Joe forgave Frazier. him. Never really? Forgave I didn't know that. Him. Never forgave him. Never forgave him. Said uh-huh. F him. I, like I won't, I'll die and I'll never forgive him. Damn, I always thought they passed it up. I nah, they, because, were, oh, they were friends because okay. he's in the most insulting. Like when he's yeah, every once when he saw it, was probably like hey, what's yeah. Up? But but when he yeah. beat him, mm-hmm. he when he won, mm-hmm. he was in his dressing room. He gonna tell his son, "Mama, leave that and I'll beat up." He gonna be like, "Hey man, tell you tell your daddy, I'm sorry." He like, man, you a man. You supposed to come yeah, to me and say that. Yeah, that's yeah, that should have been handled that but, way. Uh, wait, where does come from? Before you leave the boxing topic, I, I want to bring up something though while you're at it. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks when me and you used to play Fight Night Round 3. Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier. Oh, uh, come on. You don't remember that shit? You only had one punch. Ugh. Okay, the ending, yeah, yeah, it did go a bit long. Mm-hmm. I like how they flipped it where it showed that dude did he didn't he didn't win, but Robert yeah. Downey Jr. did. Yes, win. yes. Um That was a nice turn. I'ma say this right now. Okay. I'm saying this right now. Shout out to Christopher Nolan mm. for bringing back boobies into the cinema. Uh, I was like, yes! God damn it. I thought I was back in the 80s. I was hoping and I, that would no, be. And, and, no, I thought I was back in the 90s. I thought I was back. I was like, is this a is this some avant-garde film? Like, like, like that showed in a small theater where they actually allow it? Mm. I, I brought a tear to my eye. Okay. Oh, Florence Pugh? She is mm. she is as toxic as Jenny from Forrest Gump. You ever see those memes where they like who the most toxic women sure. in, in, in cinema? I've never seen the Florence Pugh one, but I've seen the Jenny one. Okay, yeah. okay, no, but she's yeah. the new she's okay, one of the new she's, people. <laughs> she's one of, she's definitely one of the new people where you'd be like, you're a horrible person. Okay. He she, gave her she You mean the he, character, yeah. Jean. Oh, sorry. Jean, sorry, Jean. not Florence yeah, Pugh. No, no, I love her. I mean, yeah. I like her. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I, I originally Said that Haley Atwell was bait was bait of the summer. Okay, but she got competition. 
She got competition. Okay, okay. For, for, but she was so mean. Yes, she was. And it, it, you know, yeah. I, I'm a romantic, even though I hate everything. Mm-hmm. And it just hurt my heart, man. Every time she threw those flowers, don't give me these damn flowers. He was like, but I came to take you out. She's like, look, either why you even show up? He's like, but you answered my phone call every yes. time. Yes. I was like, I've been there. I I'm wrote that her. down. I've yes. been there. Yes. With your toxic femininity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he did. He did say that she would call, and she was like, "Well, don't answer." I thought that was hilarious. But you want yeah. me to? I know. I thought but that was hilarious. Yeah. Another problem. Another major problem. Mm-hmm. That was good, but another problem. Oppenheimer ain't shit when it comes to women. He's a womanizer. They even acknowledge sex. He was doing yes. everything. Yes. And then he was so social. He was uh-huh. interesting. Sometimes people are so intellectual, mm-hmm. they do come off. Uh, um, Emotionally sure. disingenuous yeah. at times. Sure. It's like oh, I don't understand why it made you mad. Yeah, Do we have sex. It's the doctor. It's, like, it's like, the yeah. doctor Manhattan yeah. issue. Yeah. It's like he he can't even he was a connect. Horny, yes, he was a horny doctor yeah. Manhattan. Yeah. He, he, he was in like three at least three different women. Yes, and then he, then he fell out when she when she died, and they, they don't know if she killed herself or she or she got I killed. That they was, left it ambiguous. Did, was there someone holding yeah, her hand yeah, yeah, at yeah. first, and, and then, then they cut to yeah, her doing you it? Don't, you just know that? Yeah, he, like, she I was, like that because he's like yes. she didn't even sign it. She didn't yeah. even sign it. I um, did not acknowledge that in my notes. And, that was uh, that. Emily Blunt's bad parenting. She's like, get this kid out of here. Yeah, it's interesting because that does like there are instances where that does happen. Like, oh, sure. Like, especially back, like it's different now, but especially back then, you got people to be raised as brothers yes, and sisters. You got yes. people that never know their mom and did. But yep. they took the kid back. That yes. was interesting. Yes. Like, oh, yes. grew up a little bit. Okay, now you ain't gonna be as prime. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, it made me want to look up more history on Oppenheimer and everything. Yes, and it wasn't just him. The myth is, was, yeah, he led it. I, mm. my, my favorite part is when he was walking around in, in the suit, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the military suit. Oh yeah, hey, yeah he had his general. I, he had his hey, military. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. We need this. Yeah. And then, you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of Michael Jackson when he was in his military. Suit. Oh, <laughs> looking there. like Captain Crunch. Yeah. So, so <laughs> and then, hey, hey. When he put on for when he's like, and his friend was like, "Man, take that suit off." Yes, take that suit off. Yeah. Wait, wait, no, he said, "Take he that military like, go put, your, put your suit back mm-hmm. on." Yeah, like oh, I can't wait. I that cannot. Was fun. Like, yeah, and you know, honestly, they could have made this a two parter. Okay, if they wanted to push it more back and show hmm. his growing up a little bit and lead it his into studies that, and whatnot, yeah, like uh, into okay. that, sure, that would have been interesting. I want to know if he really tried to poison his teacher. Man, that because that little flash of the dude eating apple, they didn't really confirm that happened or not. I so. want to know also. Yeah, I want to know that Eric. Like, I don't think that thing really happened with him and Einstein. Einstein, it might have. Einstein might have told him like, "Hey, man, y'all, y'all yeah. congratulating me for all my accomplishments. Y'all really saying mm. good. What you look, look, you, you did good. What you, yep. what you did. Yeah, yeah. Here now, yeah. We, we'll take it from here. And it's clearly. That, what it I is. liked how they tied it into the end where dude was like, they weren't even talking about you for real. Mm-hmm. But they're kind of like basically. We don't know. You know what? No, but remember he said. They they end up talking to end up showing yeah. what they were talking about. Yeah. They kind of were talking about Robert Downey Jr. As in hmm. Oppenheimer, his whole point was I didn't he didn't want the world to become war hungry. He wanted to end his whole point, okay. I want to end this war, yeah. but yeah. I don't want people to start he didn't want his more stuff. Yeah, he didn't want his like his science replicate. He didn't want it to yeah. be a one and done, and it turns out that's just the first one. He's like, Yeah, let's just do nuclear fusion yeah. stuff and, and yeah. energy. They're yeah. like, nah, bombs. Yeah, bombs. And remember when, remember when, remember when he was talking to Truman, he was like, "But Russia could do it too." Mm-hmm. Like, no, they can't. Yep. No, they're no way near. No. <laughs> they start. They start. They start talking like a little kid. No, they can't. They don't have the ability. But but they did three. But, but someone. No, no. You don't know what you're talking about. My favorite part is when um Matt Damon was leaving after they after they tested the bombs and they put the uh the the the, the completed bombs on mm-hmm. the, on the truck and he yes, leaving. Yes. And he was like, "You're, you're gonna call me, right?" He's like, can I come to Washington? Mm-hmm. He was like, why would you come to Washington? Well, <laughs> We're done. Well, could you keep me informed? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 See you later. Yeah. It's very much like, yeah, after a, a job interview, like, we'll call you. We'll be yeah. in touch. And, like, and, ah, and all they wanted him to do was stay uh, there and create more. Yeah. Well, that's, the, you know, that's how it goes, yeah. man. Um, Endless cycle, baby. But, yeah, I enjoyed it. I understand. I enjoyed it. Mm. I would say anybody who loves history mm. will enjoy it as Ooh, well. Sorry. Bear with me. Yeah. Good. Anybody who enjoying history will enjoy it. Enjoy it as well. Um, but it is a tough watch. It is. It, it is a hundred percent a tough watch for anyone that tries to get through this. So um, I don't know the next thing we're going to review. Like, like uh, 
I'm Ooh. so I'm I'm, I'm waiting. Uh, What's the next movie you're gonna see? My next big movie is Ninja Turtles, baby. Mm. August second, Ninja I, Turtles. Yeah, have fun. I I, I will be there day. I will be there day what zero. Want to see that? I love Ninja Turtles. You love anything Ninja Turtles. I mean, I didn't like the Michael Bay ones. Oh, okay. Dang, <laughs> the last man. I didn't like them, but I, the whole I'm, show. Ex- not stuff. I'm excited for Ninja Turtles. That is actually. Uh, I split the year in half. So for me, it was Mission Impossible and Ninja Turtles. That was my two leading movies. Mission Impossible, most likely not making my top five list of the year, most likely. Um, but hopefully Ninja Turtles will. Hopefully. I'm so excited. That, sh- that looks dope. And before my bad. No, I keep, I'm listening. I'm Talk listening. to Me comes out July 28th. It's a horror movie. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to be that? there for that. Who's in that? No one I know. It, it looks like house or something. It might be. Eight twenty four. When you say that, it's yeah. like it's probably Bloomhouse, right? I don't think so. It looked look more eight twenty four than Bloomhouse. Um, but that looks good. Wait, is that oh, is that the one where like they a, where they were on the like it was like a seance or something? They was on the phone and they, mm, like there was a black girl and a white girl and they they possessed or something. Ah, uh, that, that was the Exorcist movie. No, 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 I saw no, that no, as no, well. No, I saw that. No, I saw yeah, that show. Yeah. I'm talking about the talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I blame the nuclear infusion for all this fuck. The alcohol, oh, you done changed man. everything. Take care. Peace. Deuces, y'all. <laughs>